Hello guys! Kamusta po kayo? So, it's been a while. Ngayon na lang ako ulit nakagawa ng video. So, pasensya dun sa mga questions na hindi ko nasagot. But in this video, I will discuss with you what are the requirements or the documents I uploaded to UniAssist during my application. So, nabanggit ko nga sa inyo guys that kinailangan kong mag-apply muna sa UniAssist. So, hindi ako nag-direct sa university. Although, possible naman na mag-direct ka sa university, if your chosen university, they accept na mag-direct ka. So, I heard naman na may mga ganong situations. But, in my situation, I had to apply first to UniAssist. Kasi yun ang direction, ay yun ang process sa university namin and I had to follow that. Kasi marami rin, pero maraming nagtatanong na may nakasulat daw na direct, ganyan. I'm not sure about that because as far as I know, guys, if you are uh, from non-German, uh, you are not from Germany or you, you studied outside, like from the Philippines, you really need to apply first from uh, to UniAssist. When you get the document from UniAssist, that's the time you can apply to university. So, what are the documents normally? What are the documents you need to submit to you, UniAssist? Um, it depends on your chosen university what are the uh, requirements that they need from you. But this is based from my own experience. These are the documents that I submitted to UniAssist. First, I uploaded my CV. Um, mm, the first time I uploaded my CV was not Europass, but I suggest if you watch this video you are starting your application please use europass because normally the universities here in germany they will require you to use europass cv but um, during my application in UniAssist, uh, it was not so strict so i uploaded not europass they accepted it but later on i read more I did my research and I realized that I need Europass. Then I upload another CV. So I uploaded two CV. The other one was not Europass. And then I convert. I just use. Uh, I created my Europass CV. And then they accepted it also. So it wasn't really that strict. So don't worry about your application. It's There is a small mistake. It's not so strict. They will accept it. I had a small mistake and my application was approved so if you are really diy you don't have agents here doing it yourself like me what i did yeah sometimes you can have mistake what i can suggest is make your research in advance read in advance what you really need to do step by step may us write your notes everything step by step what are the documents you need to avoid mistake but don't worry so much okay you are entering germany not as a professional you are a student here like me so if you are your plan is really to study here in germany so number one is cv mm, actually you can find it in google just put europa cv okay the the that cv you can edit it put your information that's that's the cv that i used i'll try to link the information uh the i'll try to put the link okay below i'll try to okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> the next um requirement that i uploaded was um actually you can see there some categories like these are the categories cv language certificate letter of motivation passport the school certificate the study certificate uh, work experience or internship work sample um and then there is also a category other okay let's discuss one by one let's start with cv so i would suggest you use cv let's proceed to number two the language certificate so as i mentioned from my previous videos i did not have uh, language certificate because my uh, unit my chosen university they did not require me to submit german language certificate upon application but i am required to have german a1 after the uh, first semester so after the first semester 
I was so thankful that I passed the German A1, given that I did not have any previous study about German. But don't worry, guys. You can pass it, the German A1. And I passed it in Germany, not in the Philippines. And the good thing is I did not pay a lot for that German A1. It was free from my university. They offer it for me to me as free, given that it is requirement requirement for my admission or for my enrollment. But I was already enrolled. They just give the the option or like you can submit it after the first semester. But I heard guys in our university they will remove it. Yeah. So you can do further research about your chosen university but in my chosen university it's really a good news that they removed the german a1 it's like wow if you're from the philippines then no language at all because i also did not submit ielts because in bachelor it's not required imagine if you're from the philippines and you take ielts that will cost you around twenty thousand pesos and you're coming to germany as a student right so the good thing is they don't they don't require IELTS for students in bachelor, and the thing is I also didn't have German A one. I passed it when I came here in Germany, so I came here without any German. I passed the German A one in my university, so I'm very thankful that it went that way and I didn't pay much. Given that I don't also pay for tuition, I'm only paying for. Uh, re uh, student union every semester that's all <laughs> so guys <laughs> napahaba na naman ng kwentuhan uh, the third one is the letter of motivation so guys there's another story about it I was like how do I write letter of motivation it was my first time to apply for university had no idea how to do it and I was not willing to pay for agency I was like I wasn't I was not even sure if I get the admission and I will going to pay university, uh, I mean agency. I was like, I'll do it myself. I'm, I was not 100% confident that I would get an admission, but I was, I'm so thankful that I got admission. And, you know, maybe you can too. I, I did it and I am here. So the letter of motivation, guys. At first, I wrote long <laughs> for uni assist because I read some letter of motivation from Google. I searched, well, they have long letter of motivation. And then I realized what I wrote so much. I, I include so much what I did. And then I uploaded it to uni assist. It was okay. But guys, it was just, uh, I... I changed it. I had time to change it this time. So I remove it and I make it one page and it worked. It was like, I want to be direct to the point. What's, what's really why I want to study in Germany? Just answer that question. Okay. First, I introduce myself and why I want to study in Germany. Why I am choosing this university. Why I am choosing this degree. Those are the most important. Don't make it like a MMK. Is I read some motivation letter that they are. This is so dramatic. Um, motivation letter. Yeah, it's okay. Also, but given that the Germans are so direct people, they are not in like us Filipinos. They are like the, what you want to say. Say it directly on point. It's not like we are Filipinos and we are so flowery words. <laughs> we love to say more words and make it dramatic. And no, my advice is make make it more concise. I would say, and on point. Just answer those three questions. Uh, that's my advice for you. I, I hope it's that will be your guide for your motivation letter. And don't don't get lost to more stories and getting longer. For me, I would say stick to those questions. Okay. The fourth one is I I uploaded my passport. So your passport must not be uh, almost expired. So make sure you have really long validity. Of your passport because you will be traveling to Germany. The next one is school certificate. 
those in those categories say what should i upload in this but that's it wasn't really strict guys i just uploaded some certificates from my previous study i uploaded some certificates awards and certificates next one i is a study certificate for my study certificate ah uh, yeah i uploaded this is more most important guys i uploaded my transcript of record the tor i had two pages of transcript of record because i study i studied in the philippines previously uh a bachelor for four years my study was bachelor of elementary education so yeah guys you were asking in the comments maraming nagtatanong ano raw inaral ko sa philippines so ngayon alam nyo na ha chika chika muna bachelor of elementary education so yan po ang inaral ko sa philippines at natapos ko siya in four years so important guys that you have a uh, original transcript of record or tor and diploma if you have original transcript of record and diploma just scan it the pdf pdf guys valid na yan siya dito sa germany wala na wala akong uh what is this red ribbon no i don't i don't need red, red red ribbon because they don't really require it so why why should I pay if they don't require it? So I just upload the scan original, scan original TOR and diploma. Send. That's all, guys. Because many are asking, do I need red ribbon? Do I need apostille? Why? They don't ask for it. Wag mo na pahirapan yung sarili mo. Kung baga, kung hinihingi nila bago ka magbigay, kung baga magbayad ka na naman, how much bayan sa Philippines, di ba? And then, kailangan mo yan hintayin I think ng matagal so wala akong ganun guys ha and nandito na ako sa Germany dito kasi hindi naman ganun ka strict talaga sa mga papers, documents ang PDF is considered as valid yan dito kapag na-scan mo yung original and they see it as original PDF they accept it it's only in the Philippines that it's so strict I don't know in some in some instances in Germany, I find it simple and direct to the point, straightforward. So, guys, I uh, scanned my transcript of record and diploma. That's it. I uploaded to NASIS. So, I'm only speaking based on my own experience. I don't know if in other university maybe they will require more than that, that you need a postal or red ribbon. But in my own experience, I did not need, I don't, I did not do red ribbon or apostille just the original diploma and original transcript i scan it and upload it next one is the work experience so guys for my work experience it's important that you have your employment certificate just scan it that's it also what i did just scan it and upload next one guys is the uh, work sample i don't have work sample i was like what should i put in the work sample i was like Maybe I should not put any because I don't have, I don't know what to put in there. I was, my previous work mostly was teaching. Should I put lesson plans and like sample of my previous work? I was like, mm, I think I should not put because I'm not sure what to put. <laughs> and actually I was, I was just applying as a student, right? Don't make it so much like, I was like, I was not even sure if i'll pass it to be honest that time i was a bit lost also with my application but i'll just pursue it pushing it forward <laughs> okay so for example i did not put any it's okay it's okay as long as the you know your chosen university did not require you to upload for example it's okay the unisys will not push you to upload it's okay and then the there is so in other there is another category the name is other so i said like what should i up put in other i didn't know i keep reading reading and i get like i don't know much i just read in uni as is and then i would say i have still some other sa category na other pala ang nilagay ko na lang yung mga other certificates na nakuha ko while i was studying i was working ko ano ba yung mga certificates ko noon na naitabi ko niscan ko lang yung lahat guys tapos in upload so yun lang and then sabi ko if ever they they will ask more papers from me then they, they will email me 
yeah so i was just waiting so far they did not ask for more papers that's all i submitted and then after that guys when you uploaded all the documents that's the time you will pay so to end this video i paid guys in uni assist for my application i paid uh, 75 euro so yun lang you madali lang din guys magbayad kasi if you have atm from the philippines and acceptable naman yan siya eh ilagay mo lang basta ilagay mo number doon and diba may number din yan sa likod na atm so yun lang din intay, intay. basta madali lang guys talaga sundin mo lang yung instruction kaya kaya mo na yan gawin yourself with the application and nanghintay nga pala ako guys ng few weeks i think 3 weeks or 4 weeks guys bago dumating and after ng application na yun guys magbigay yan ng evaluation si UNESCO sa yun may nakasulat pong possible ba ah ano ba eligible ka ba na mag aral dito sa Germany um sa kung ano yung inapplyan mo bachelor o masters sasabihin na yun sa bibigyan ka ng VPD so yan guys ang ipipigay sa yun so that's all guys that's that's my personal experience applying to study here in germany if you are also applying to study here in germany i hope nakatulong sa yo this video um sa mga questions na hindi baka hindi ka sure sa mga documents mo i hope nakatulong ito sa yo especially if you're from the philippines kasi ito talaga ang intent ko is para sa mga filipinos na gustong mag-apply rin na mag-aral dito sa germany and sa next videos guys mag answer naman ako ng mga questions ninyo so see you there bye bye